so making a bunch of videos. Some of them are about blog posts. Some of them are about things I want to talk about. This one is about an experience I had a while ago that I meant to make a blog post about and then never really knew if it was appropriate. So I got to shadow the chancellor of UCCS, Pam Shockley, who is just a gem of a human being. She is so nice and cares so much about the students at UCCS. And uh, I just sort of on a whim was like, I kind of wonder what her days are like. I wonder if I could ask to shadow her. And so I met her secretary by just wandering into her office. And Brenda was like, you should just send me an email and I'll ask her if she's up for it. And we ended up on a 15 minute call instead of having a meeting or getting coffee or dinner or anything. Because I'm sure people ask her to get coffee all the time. Uh, so she's very good at defending against getting coffee. But uh, yeah, while we were on the 15 minute call, I got to sort of like ask her about how she thinks about managing a university and what sort of things she cares about and looks forward for doing in the future and what sort of things she's really enthusiastic about and also what the biggest challenges are. And we had a very interesting 15 minute conversation and I just asked at the end of it, could I shadow you sometime? And totally expected to like, maybe get back to me later. And instead she was like, yes, we'll set that up right away. Uh, and it was great. Um, it did take a little bit of following up. It, it probably took like six months of following up, but like that's pretty quick for the university world as I have learned the hard way. Uh, and we actually got it done and I got to just show up at 8 a.m. one day and shadow her through her entire day and attend meetings with her and just hang out and see like what things she talks about during the day and what sort of meetings she has. It was great, it was great. The biggest takeaways from it were uh, that I think even the most busy people um, tend to over schedule or overestimate the amount of time that something takes and I think I do this all the time and so it's good to be aware of it but like if you allow a lot an amount of time for something uh, especially something that can be done, done quickly like a meeting with someone uh, many times a half hour or an hour is just an excuse to not put together an agenda <laughs> and so if you put together an agenda you can knock that out in 15 minutes and spend the other half hour just like actually you know enjoying each other and just having a conversation but have everything already done um and and i think that i noticed that most because pam would usually just get around to the point of her meetings in the last five minutes uh which i don't think is good or bad it's just her style uh but it was interesting to see in just like a really noticeable way that i hadn't before so that was fun uh but also getting to see the amount of time she spends fundraising for the school I thought was really interesting. A lot of schools of course have huge endowments and don't have to do a ton of fundraising, but UCCS is not in that position and they are worried about raising a budget every year and increasing their budget and getting more students and faculty on board and it was really cool to see sort of the approach that one takes to fundraising, uh, something that I had never done before and had no experience with uh, that she clearly does every day. It was just wild, it was wild to see what that world is like and I still have a lot to learn about it. I'm still very curious about nonprofits and fundraising and university endowments and all that. But I think that moment just sparked my curiosity. So those are the two main things that I really wanted to make sure that I at least documented before it all fades away. Um, and I'm sure it'd make a great blog post but I'm not entirely sure what the format looks like or how to write about it and that's sort of put it on hold indefinitely. Uh, but now there's a video about it. I've been able to talk to you about it. So at least there's this. Um, I hope I'll get a, the chance to, to shadow some other chancellors just to get to like compare and contrast. Um, it, it is a fascinating thing, but there are a lot of other people I want to shadow too. Um, if you haven't tried shadowing someone, ask, ask to do that at some point. It's fascinating and really cool. And for some reason people are okay with it, uh, which is something I still don't understand. Very busy people, very busy people are always like, oh, you want to shadow? That's cool. You could shadow, sure. <laughs> Because it doesn't take any extra time for them. They don't have to do anything else. They don't have to add anything to their schedule. They just have someone else in their meeting. Like, that happens to them all the time anyway. So it doesn't seem like you should be able to do it or it should be easy. It seems like you should be like, qualified in some way to do it. But I literally had no business being there. I didn't go to UCCS. <laughs> I wasn't taking a class. I'd never taken a class from Pam. I had no intention of going to UCCS. Uh, the closest thing to maybe, like, relevant is that my mom worked there. <laughs> and, uh that didn't even come up in our conversation about whether or not I should shadow her. So really like anyone you're curious about, you can ask and it might work out. So it's worth asking. 
uh, that's what I learned from shadowing the Chancellor of the University. I hope you liked this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.